30 seconds to go, a nerve-wracking countdown, then this. India became the first in the world to successfully reach Mars's orbit on its first attempt. The country's Prime Minister Narendra Modi celebrating the occasion. Three, two, one, main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with curiosity. She concludes to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. On the eve of humanity's first manned mission to the Red Planet, no amount of speculation could adequately prepare us for the unexpected discovery of... The directive I'm signing today will refocus America's space program on human exploration and discovery. It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972 for long-term ex exploration and use. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our mark. We will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. This directive will ensure America's space program once again leads and inspires all of humanity. The pioneer spirit has always defined America and we're picking that up in many other fields. I think you see that. I think it's obvious. All you have to do is look at what's happening with the markets and all of the great things that are happening. We're leading in many different fields again, and it'll get more and more obvious as you go along. This is a giant step toward that inspiring future and toward reclaiming America's proud destiny in space. And space has so much to do with so many other applications, including a military application. So we are the leader, and we're going to stay the leader, and we're going to increase it many-fold. Constant loss of space detected. Not just 40 meters. NASA sent this robot, this $2.5 billion robot, to Mars to answer a single question. That was, was uh, Mars ever suitable? Hospitable. Hospitable for life. And yesterday, uh, NASA got up in Washington, D.C. and announced that the answer to that question is yes. And that's a big answer. It shows it was wet for one and a half billion years, already much longer than the period of time needed for life to develop on Earth. And now we see that Mars must have been wet for a period even longer. NASA's administrator, Charles Bolden, for whom inhabiting another planet is the key to the survival of the human race. Mars is very Earth-like, or at least used to be very Earth-like. It is a planet, a sister planet to Earth, uh, it is the most likely planet in our solar system uh, that had life at one time, may have life now, and we feel definitely can sustain life. So, so that's the reason we chose it. It's uh, definitely one about survival of the species. By the end of this century, we're going to put a man on Mars. A journey to another planet, a manned mission to Mars as part of a re-energized space program that will send American astronauts to Mars. The next historically interesting thing was the discovery of methane in the atmosphere of Mars. One of the major uh, sources of methane on this planet is volcanoes, but there appear to be no active volcanoes uh, on Mars. The other thing that's strange about the methane is that it's seasonal. If there are methane-generating organisms in the soil of Mars, then you could easily explain uh, the amount of methane uh, in the atmosphere and also its variation over uh, spring versus uh, you know, summer versus winter because organisms are more active uh, when the temperature warms up a bit. Create, uh, conditions necessary for Mars to be habitable today. And we believe that this is possible in the shallow subsurface and even the surface of Mars polar region for a few hours per day during the spring.
that only 13% of an ancient ocean remains on the planet today, now stored in the polar ice caps. 87% of this ocean has been lost to space. This means that early Mars would have looked much different than it does today, with a significant portion of its surface covered by water. So the really interesting question is, could it form a sea or an ocean? And indeed, it would. The SAM discoveries have really shown us that all of the basic ingredients for life were there, including complex organic compounds, the building blocks of life. Now with the detection of organics in Gale Crater, the probability that Gale Crater Lake could have supported life goes up. No scientist will ever say anything with absolute certainty until we can actually see the microbes. But I think on the basis of the experiments you know, that have been done so far and the detection of methane various other things, uh, that uh, chances are, I would say, greater than 95% that Viking did indeed detect microbial life uh, 35 years ago.